Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be focusing on radar charts in chart.js. Let's get started now. Okay, so the next thing we're going to talk about is a radar chart. Now, a radar chart is interesting. You probably seen these two sort of list attributes. Now, these attributes, I don't know if you've ever played, let's say, RPGs of any type. I mean, even in Pokemon, they had these type of radar graphs. So let's go ahead and head to our code. And let's go ahead and just change this type from bar to radar. Okay, bar to radar. And let's come ahead into our page and refresh and see what we have. And just like that, we have this sort of interesting looking shape. It's a rotated square, so like a diamond here. And we have our values going off in different directions. So where the other graphs are making more sense to be sort of maybe chronological, how we had the labels as dates or something like that, this might make much less sense than that. We have January, February, April. This might make more sense to be something like attributes. So let's go ahead to our code. And the first thing we want to do is get rid of this neon green background color. In fact, we can change this to RGBA and we can have this be something like 00, 255, 00, and then 0.1 or something like this. And we can have this transparent green color as our background color. And that neon green is like filling it up doesn't quite work for me. Now let's go ahead and change our data to also have like a 10 here. And we're going to add another label. Now these labels, I'm going to make them be attributes. So we can have this be like uh, strength. And this can be skill. This can be health and this can be speed and this can be something like luck okay i'm just only totally making these up off the top of my head and let's head back to our page and refresh now what's cool here is that not only did the shape change to be a regular pentagon instead of a uh, square or diamond we now have what looks really cool because we have this transparency on the inside our plots are pointed and this user has let's say 50 in strength 55 and or 55 in health and speed they have 30 and this is really cool now, if we were to have a second data set, let's go ahead and do that. We can just create a new data set by copying this inside object inside of here. We can have a comma here and let's just go ahead. There we go. Now let's change this label to points. Okay. And now let's go ahead and just change some of these values. And today uh, we can do this FF00 Let's do 255 five over here. Okay, so we now have a yellow and a green. Super cool. And let's go ahead and just change up these values. We can have this be something like five. And then let's say 100. And then I'm just gonna make these all over the place. Uh, 20. And then 70. And then we can do another one that's 80. So check this out now. We have some new data in here. These are going to overlay on top of each other. And second thought, yellow was a bad choice. So let's go ahead and turn this into uh, 255 this way. And then 00 FF, FF. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think this is going to be like a blue teal refresh way better way easier to see here and as you can see here not only did our shape adjust to the points just like we sort of been doing this all time but they're overlaid and the transparency everything makes this look really super nice not, not to mention the animation them growing out like that it's one of the reasons why i love this library it just looks nice all the time right i mean this chart looks great so this is the radar chart. And as you can see, compared to the bar chart, we literally just changed uh, some of the data information. In fact, if we come up here and just change this radar to bar, you'll be able to see how this looks as a bar chart. And as you can see, it's just adding another column in here, the other bar. 
So again, let me just highlight the flexibility of this library. Let's say this data isn't cutting it in this way. Like, okay, this looks great, but let's see what this looks like as a radar. Okay, hey, that illustrates my point way much better. So, as you can see, we have total flexibility over our charts. This is a radar chart in chart.js. Again, the code is the exact same. We need labels. Those labels need to match how many data we have inside of our data sets. But other than that, nothing too crazy here. I'm gonna go ahead and actually get rid of this console log while I'm in here. But as you can see, radar charts, super easy, super cool. Now in the next video, we're gonna be talking about a polar area chart, which is a lot like a pie chart, but it adds an entirely new dimension. So if you like this content, if you want to see more chart.js, head to store.levelupptutorials.com and become a level up pro or purchase this series. You'll get access to extra content, including some default configuration options that are going to make some really beautiful looking charts for you. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I love to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.